Graham, come to my office, please. Okay, sir. M607-1076 to HQ. Oh, this doesn't look good. I don't know what I've done. Hi, Graham. Hello, sir. I've been discussing with my other higher-ups and other members of command. Okay. And we've decided to promote you to a paramedic, so congratulations, Graham. Really? We deserve it with all your good works. Oh, y <laughs> thanks. It's all right, so uh, you now have a new uniform as a paramedic. Okay. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like if you like. Yeah. All right. You can get changed over here. And... Uh, so the paramedic will be wearing the hat. Yeah. This one? You see it? Uh, it's called the UN cap. And you're also going to be wearing a new backpack. Uh, is it the red one? Uh, I think it's the... It's, yeah, it's the red backpack. Yeah, there we go. That's your new uniform that you'll be wearing every day, so congratulations. You can now get aviation training as well as a paramedic. Oh, okay. Should I uh, put in my car? Yeah, put away your car and I'll do that. Okay, so this is the standard helicopter that you'll be flying as a paramedic. So get in the pilot seat for me and we're going to run through some procedures. So on the dashboard you're going to click Alt-P and that's going to bring up the long range radio. Type in at frequency 60 and then click set frequency which is near the right side of the interface. That's going to put you on the air frequency channel. Okay. And once again okay. on the dashboard, if you look down you can see the keys. You're going to click control and alt and that's going to talk on the radio. As if you're talking on the normal radio but on the long range frequency of Contr course. And you're going to say UN to ATC. Control. You're going to say that twice. So control or caps lock, right? Oh. To talk. Should I say Good. UN to ATC? Yep, and you're going to say that twice. And if they don't respond, then you can take off. Okay. UN to ATC. UN okay. to ATC. Just like that. And they're not responding, so yeah. you can take off. Oh, look, there's a trainee there. I remember when I was a trainee. I remember it like it was yesterday. 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 Shut yesterday. up, Graham. Oh, sorry. Yesterday. And that's why we never help the cops. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, Mr. Hunt, can you open up the gates, please? find somewhere to park. Break it out. Okay, so today we're gonna be learning some basics. Uh, we're gonna start with some CPR, right? Oh, 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 I know that. Alright, trainee Graham and trainee Hunt. Go grab the dummies in the tent, alright? Yes, sir. This is how you do it. Your hand on your chest like this, and push down repeatedly, okay? I'll do exactly what I do. Alright, you ready? My you, cunts. You, you, you go first. <laughs> so, press down on the chest, okay? That's, is that his chest? <coughs> uh, move up a bit. I, I think it will, be, uh, it will probably be, an, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So press down on the chest, okay. That seems easy enough. Oh, oh my! Uh, uh, oh. What the hell is this trainee doing slobbering all over me? Uh, I, I, I thought you were... I thought you what were the hell has me? happened? Oh no. Oh, how could you think I was a CPR dummy? Where are my clothes? Where are my clothes? 
Um. Oh, uh, well, uh, Graham, you try CPR the real dummy then. Okay, so it's uh, like like compressed on the chest like this. Very good, very good. Yeah, right, exactly how I told you. Okay, okay good. Ah! Oh. Where am I? Why can't I see? Uh, What's what happening? The hell? Uh, uh, well, this happens sometimes. I'll take care of it. Uh, oh. just follow me. Follow, follow the boys. Um, okay. Come and follow the boys. What's going Come on? on? This way, this way. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna take you into the uh, research or something. Alright, help us. What are they doing? I have no idea. Alright. Uh, bend over and pull your pants down. <coughs> Alright, pull them off. Take them off. Yeah. Alright, let me get this uh, device right here. A few moments later. Ah, that was nice. Okay, so take off for me. Okay. And you're gonna fly to about 40 meters altitude. And you might want to put your earplugs in and fly. Yeah. Press the right shift key. So I want you to head south and you're gonna go basically over the checkpoint and continue going south from there. Yeah, so remember to keep put the altitude of about 40. Oh, not not higher? And, yeah, not higher. Oh. Try and avoid uh, going over NATO base and other bases. Oh, okay. When you get over the checkpoint, you're gonna follow the main road down to the Therese of Dark Clinic. Okay. You're doing good. Okay. There's an infra there. Yeah. Don't worry about that. So, we're coming up to the clinic now, so what I'm going to need you to do is do what's called a flare landing or a fast landing. So, you're going to flare off your speed when you get to about 800 to 700 meters away, kilometers away. And uh, you're going to try and uh, go down and stop your speed without gaining altitude, but decreasing altitude without auto hover. Just do a nice fast landing. Give me controls, I'm going to give you an example. That wasn't perfect, but you kind of yeah. got the idea. So I'm going to take off from the side and go back around. <coughs> okay. So I'll go about 200 more meters away. I'll turn around right here. So we're 700 meters out, so I'm going to hold Z uh, to the dashboard uh, and uh, start flaring the speed, which is like this. Yep. Can you uh, respond to the conversation? So I'm tilting the nose up slightly. And then when we get over, I'll be able to cut my 
speed completely. And I'd like that. That's pretty much it. I'll let you do it now. Okay. Very good. Just landed it. That's a lot better than last time, so I'll pass you on that. Cool. Got the idea. So now I'm going to need you to go about 100 meters altitude and stay still. Now, for this, you're going to be doing a barrel roll to show that you can control the chopper at all times. So okay. take off auto hover. Yeah. And you're going to hold shift to the dashboard and uh, D to start off with. Okay, and do it now. So, yep. Cool, now we'll go do it again, go back to a 100 meters off speed. Control it, good. Alright, so you passed the barrel stage, we're gonna go RTB, but on the way you're gonna have to land in the car, so do you know where that is? Alright, so I'm gonna give you an example. Yep. And then I want you to do the same thing, so it's gonna try and do it efficiently, pretty fast. Nice and efficiently. Without wobbling around, just do a nice soft landing, and that's how you're gonna do it. So okay. I'll put you back in the same position I was. Good. Very good. All right, so you're gonna RTV now, and you're gonna say on radio, which is 8.2 frequency for the UN frequency. You're gonna say UN Air One is 10. No, actually, you're gonna say UN Air One is RTV. That's what you're gonna say. On uh, long range or on normal? On normal frequency. UN Air One RTV. It's RTV. Air One is RTV. Air One is RTV. Yep, just like that. UN to ATC, permission to land. UN to ATC, permission to land. Yeah, no response. So go ahead and land. job. Still, you. my landing from yesterday. So with that, you pass for training, and I can grant you your aviation training. So can we get a round of applause? Yeah. Woo! Hey. 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 Let me punch you in the face. You're reborn as an aviation person. Yay. Yes. Mm. Congratulations. Uh, you and I'm going to get a copyright today. strike. Hooray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>